What's up, people? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? <laughs> Once again, as we promised, we're back. We're going to give you that inside info on who we is here on Dragon Pit TV. Nate Lee. Dragon Lou. Now, what we're going to do is we decided to come up with a little, a, a little way, a Q&A, &A, so you guys can kind of understand what we're talking about. So what we did is we just came up with a few questions to ask each other, and maybe it hit on something, maybe it won't, maybe you like it. Most likely you will, but then you'll know a little bit more about who we are and what we bring to the table. So we'll see where it, go, where, it, where it leads. And may I add, if you guys have more comments and a question that you may want us to answer, post a comment, leave an email. Post a comment, shoot an email. Bam. And if we like what you got to say, the next view, we might even com comment back to you on it and give you some shout outs and let you know what's going on. How about that? Indeed, you like? Indeed, I like. You like? I like. I like. Yo. We like. So the first question is me for um, Lou. Yo, Lou, tell me this, man. Where did the idea from, where did the idea for the production company come from, Dragon Pit? Well, one night, I mean, I can be long and drawn out. One night I was asleep. A, a little bit about what I do and what I do. Uh, outside of what we finna do, I, I used to do a lot of music production. Um, I have my own music production company that uh, work party music sports. Um, we do a lot of little different things here and there for local artists and stuff like that. Uh, but my heart has always been my martial arts thing, and um, a, a, one of the big things that I've seen out there that I haven't seen was something like what we're going to do, kind of like a blog, a Q&A, uh, somebody talking about some of the classic films and what they did and where they come from and all that type of stuff. For me, that genre was huge. Growing up as a little kid, nay high to a nutsack, man, all I want to do is kick somebody, learn karate. So, but I haven't seen anybody since Cisco and Ebert talk about some of the movies that we want to hear about. You know, they talk about everything, but I'm a martial artist. You are martial arts. Most of you, some of you, some of you just like those movies. So that's what the idea come from. That's that's what I want to speak of. I appreciate that, Lou. Um, you pretty much already kind of dibble and dabble of where the idea of the TV show came from, and you also pretty much dibble and dabble what flared your interest in the martial arts. Well, like I said, as a kid, I me mean, movies, movies, movies. As a kid, when I was young, younger, because I'm still young. Keep, don't get it twisted. Um, you know, watching stuff like, you know, Snake in the Monkey's Shadow, you know, all these classic films, you know, Jackie Chan's Drunken Master, and all that type of stuff. That traditional Kung Fu, Kung Fu, is what actually brought me into wanting to do this and wanting to fight and wanting to do that type of thing. And, you know, being that it's such a fusion with our culture with being African American, yes, I am African American, I am bright as all hell, but please believe it, don't get it twisted. <laughs> That's kind of it. I know. On, on a side note, just a side note, just throwing it out there, because one thing we will promise you guys, we're going to be 100 with you, 100%. So whatever I'm saying, you better believe, and you can believe that it's 100% the truth, because that's just the way I am, that's who we are. You can bank on that, you can so, bank on that. Right, if I tell you a movie suck, please believe, it suck. <laughs> that's just all I'm saying. And uh, since we've been shooting out the ideal about the movies um, and things like that, what is your favorite martial art movie? <laughs> I got a couple of them, but one of my favorite of all time is Snake in the Monkey Shadow. If you haven't seen it, find it. I guarantee you'll love that movie. I promise you, you'll love that movie. Snake style of that movie is so sick. The drunken style is in that movie. Monkey style is in that movie. Man, come on! <laughs> so much everything in that movie. Please believe it. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. And that pretty much... Um Almost wrap up, you know. I got some uh, more personal shoot for you. Shoot you know, them, shoot them. Um, you know, being a, being a martial artist, you know, um, you know, what do your training regimen consist of? Like, how often? You know, do you involve your family with them? Um, things like that. Well, I've been a martial artist on and on, on and off, on and off, as time is permitted. So ever since I was a little kid, like I said, I've always loved and always been a part of it. But recently, as far as um, this year. It, you know, I've actually got more spiritually motivated to continuously really train and train hard. So I've actually been back in training full time since August of this year. Congratulations. Um, not only that, but you know, I brought my my family into it too. Um, you know, it just I had to get back into it at a time in my life when I felt they were ready to be part of it. Indeed, indeed, indeed. 
um, so that I can focus. Uh, you know, you know how it is as you grow up, you got to work, you got to pay bills, you got miles to feed and all that type of stuff. Now I'm just at that point in time where I'm ready to refocus. I got some of those Words. haters off my shoulders, please believe. And uh, we're going to get back in there full time. So, you know, full time right now, you know, three to four times a week I'm in class. I uh, practice and train every day. Uh, so that's seven days a week. You know, sometimes you got to give your body a break. So, you know, I recommend you do that two days out of the week every once in a while. But, but, come on, we got to get tough, baby, tough. Indeed, indeed. First of all, I want to thank you, man. No problem, man. I appreciate it big time. No this is like my big bro. And I want to thank y'all for giving me the time to um, interview Brother Lou. That wraps me up. That. If that's what we do, that's what we do. Please believe it. Now check it out. I got some questions for Brother Lou. Please, yeah, trust me, I'm going to hit him hard because he hit me hard. This is what we're doing. Um, real quick, um, what do you feel is the most important for people to know about you? <laughs> what should they know? Uh, personally speaking, as open as I am, I've heard that, you know, there's like a, a mysteriousness about me, you know. So, I mean, you know, outside of those in my close circle, you know, there's going to be like a lot of oxymorons that come from me, you know, um, things that's going to make you be like, man, that's kind of, whoa, you know, so there, there's going to be, you know, some, I, I, I would like to say I'm the easiest to get along with, but the hardest to understand, point blank, just to, just to wrap that up, you know. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, what does martial arts mean to you in your life? Well, pretty much to me, martial arts is a way of life, point blank. I mean, it's kind of interesting, I, fantastic, beautiful, because all at the same time, because dare I say there's a martial art way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And when I say a martial art way of thinking, I mean from my dress to how I enter a building, you know. And I think that kind of, in detail, a, a byproduct of being a practitioner, that's kind of what it teaches you. It teaches you how to deal with every situation that comes in your life in a non-violent manner because when it's a way of life, that's just how it is. All right, all right. In that case, tell me about a time when something you've learned or something you've taught someone from martial arts has helped you or helped someone else in their life. Okay, cool. Um, a time that I could think of where I felt that the martial arts helped me help somebody or help me help somebody help me is a time where I was um, dealing with uh, an individual and I spoke about motivation you know um, motivation confidence and motivation is one of the things that the arts teach you that's just a byproduct of being a practitioner and I use a famous individual as a uh, example and I pretty much said to this individual it don't matter what a million people think what matters is how you feel a thousand people could tell you the most beautiful person on, on, walking on the face of earth, but if you don't truly believe that, it really don't matter. I mean, that could be a sad commentary, but it's so true. Mm. That's, yeah, that, that, that's, so, that's, that's deep. That's deep. Uh, real quick, um, when you find out, when I told you I was doing this project, why do you think, why do you feel you had to be a part of this? First of all, I was honored that I was even considered, but pretty much the chemistry that we've always had from John our interests and our passions that we have for the whole genre from the martial arts to the movies to the hip-hop culture you know so I mean once I heard about it and found that I had to try to do it I said cool I'm on board I'm down whatever that needs to be done hey I'm in so that's pretty much what got me into it and made me feel that I had to do it you know it's support it's support then it's a love then it's a support thing that's real talk that's real talk and I can't let you go but I'll ask you, what's your favorite <laughs> martial arts movie of all time? It's so funny that that question is out there, but my answer is even more interesting because my favorite martial arts movie ain't one of those um, badly dubbed films. It's more uh, up-to-date film. It came out in 2000, 2001. It's called Tiger, Crouch of Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I'm sure it's a title that a lot of people are very familiar with. Um, the reason that is my favorite is because it brought the, the, the elements of movies that we grew up on and brought it to the American scene. Yes, there was a lot of Americans who got into the, the, the who were into the genre, but once Crouch of Tiger and Hidden Dragon came out, 
it crossed mad barriers, man. It I mean, there, 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 it woke a lot of people up, and there was not not one person who, American-wise, who did not know or understand. Whoa, check that out. Mm. So I love that. That's what that movie did. All right. Yo, again, just real quick. Again, this is Nate Lee, Dragon Lou. We want to thank y'all for watching. Check us out. Peace. See you soon.